Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is part two in my fountain series and in this video we're going to work more on the fountain and also the trees and the bushes that are behind the fountain. If you want to follow along with acrylics, check out part one in this series where I have a list of all the paint, brushes, and canvas that I use. The app that we're going to be using is Infinite Painter for Android. And here I'm using the Filbert or the flat oil brush to make the big tree in the background. And I'm using kind of a dark umber color if you're following along traditionally. And just making sort of a thick tree trunk and trying to also make some of the branches that come in uh, on the painting there from the top. And so then I wanted to work a little bit more on the top of the um, fence that's behind the, the fountain. And these are kind of uh, Spanish tiles. And so they're going to be kind of a dark orangish, dark reddish color. And uh, you can make these by using cadmium orange light and throw in some burnt sienna. And just kind of make a, a really dark orangish brown color. And then I wanted to go ahead and work a little bit more on the foliage in the background. And there's light shining through holes in the bushes. So you would use some lighter green to show that. And so I'm using uh, probably a, a phthalo yellow green for that. And then I wanted to go ahead and work a little bit more on the shape of the fountain. So I'm trying to go ahead and get the bottom of it sort of in a, in a parabola shape. And so I'm working a little bit by adding a lighter gray. Now you don't want a, a real big white, but just a lighter gray. And then there I had a crash with my program and this is why you always export each step if you can so that you can even if you lose your progress in the program you'll have it as an exported step which is what I did here and so I went ahead and just exported the uh, picture that I had saved back in and you should do this with all digital programs um, it's just something that you need to do because they, no matter how stable they are, they will crash, the electricity will blink, something will happen. So you always have to just save uh, stages of your painting. And so here I'm working on the um, shape of the fountain and the design on the bottom of the fountain here. I'm adding sort of a, a light blue and then the side that is towards the light will have a lighter white and it'll be kind of still an off-white color with a touch of orange in it and if you're following along traditionally just a touch of cadmium orange and then I'm just kind of refining the shape of the um, where the water comes out in the fountain and then the bottom of the fountain again it's a sort of a parabola shape so I was using some of the guides in Infinite Painter to straighten that edge out. And you can use a bowl or something if you're following along traditionally. Or a French curve. Um, just any kind of a something that has a parabola shape. And then here I'm working on the top of it. and Just trying to get it straight. Although I don't want to leave it um, with hard sharp edges because they're going to be rounded but I'll I'll go back and round the edges on the the fountain there and so I'm adding a little bit of a still lighter color and then going back over it with a a bit of a darker gray and you can uh, do that traditionally with some ultramarine blue and burnt sienna mixed together and add some white acrylic gesso and I wanted to kind of give it a weathered look on the bottom so I've added 
uneven spots of gray and white on it because we want to to give it just a weathered look for more interest you can have a brand new fountain if you want but i just kind of like the weathered look of this old uh, spanish fountain and so here i'm working on the basin of the fountain at the bottom and i'm using the straight edge line tool and infinite painter and you can use a, a t-square or a ruler if you're following along traditionally just something that will give you a straight edge and that's what i'm trying to do is is go ahead and get the edges straight on the basin of the fountain and i'm using uh, alternately light and dark grays to kind of get the uh, weathered look and then i'm going to go ahead and finish that out in part three so this is the end of part two of the fountain and if you want to see more then hit that subscribe button and thanks everybody for watching thank you so much for your support if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below and i will catch you later